App Studio projects can be turned into true native apps using PhoneGap. Let's build a release version for Android stores. We start by generating a signing key. To do this, we use KeyTool, which is part of the Java Development Kit, which you'll need installed on your system. Over to the command window and change directory as shown. Next, enter in the KeyTool command. We're asking it to generate a key. Uh, the name of the key store will be the name of your program plus key store. The alias, again the name of your program. We're going to use the RSA algorithm with a key size of 2048. The key will be valid for 10,000 days. The key store password, enter what you like. Uh, enter in the same password again. And now enter your first and last name. The organization and uh, city and locality uh, need to be filled in, and your state and province, uh, as well as your country code. I confirm that everything's okay, and hit return to use the same as the key store password here. The file's been created. Next, sign on to your PhoneGap build account to get your auth token. It's free for one app and quick to set up. Choose edit account then Client Applications, and then scroll down. Copy the authentication token. Now we go into App Studio's Preferences screen. Paste the auth token that we got. Now do Build Native App to send your app to your PhoneGap account. A message will display when it's complete. Now go back to your PhoneGap build page. To build the release version, you need to give your app the key. Select the app and then click on No Key Selected next to the Android icon. Enter title and alias. I usually just use the name of the app. Click on Choose File and the key store file we just created. Now click on the lock and enter the key store's password. The key will be unlocked for one hour. So now let's click on rebuild. And in a few seconds, we'll have an APK file. We can download that and put it into our Google Drive folder on the desktop. Let's switch to the device. We'll click on the drive icon. See our APK file that says Release? Click on it and then the Install button. Once the installation completes, click on the Open button to start the app. There we go. We've built a native app and run it on an Android device. You can submit the same file to Android stores without any changes.